So Matt G got a whole box of this 1969 historic autographs. Uh, so, you know, a lot of times we would do it random before the break to see who gets these checklist break spots, you know. Uh, these are all the little spots and everything, but none of that's necessary in this because Matt owns every spot in the rip. So this is his box. I hope it's a lucky box. Uh, sometimes you get some autographs coming out. It's always really cool. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Good luck, Matt G. Nineteen sixty nine. Ho Autograph cuts one in three boxes, vintage car keys, proof coins, stamps, war relics. We're looking for all that. Look at this, it's a Super Bowl ring. I don't know. It's a it's a World Series ring. That's a blank card. Amazing Mets of 1969. I was just thinking, you know, of Nolan Ryan, and that is exactly whose ring this is. It's Nolan Ryan's ring. I think he was a rookie in in like '67. I can't remember his rookie year, but it was it was a uh, beginning of a wonderful thing. Sixty-eight. Okay, thanks a lot, Ace of Breaks. Sixty-eight was Nolan Ryan's rookie year. Okay, so he was in this World Series. That's for sure. For the championship Mets. And um, let's take a look here. Mariner 6 launched. This is a number to 99. Mariner 6. Another amazing Mets card. This is a tie-dyed parallel. And so this is 27 of 69. And this is a bounty advertisement. Good luck with your original 1969 cards. Tops. What do we have? A Tops card. That's more like an advertisement. A Stan Williams comes out. Cleveland Indians, Stan Williams. And Stan struck out 301 batters in 65. Pretty nice 1969 Tops baseball. Indians card. Then we have the Red Sox, Russ Gibson of 1969. Red Sox, Russ Gibson. And a cut signature comes out. It's Harmon Killebrew. Ho! Ho! Nice cut signature. Congratulations to Matt G. Harmon Killebrew. It is a 
penny a 1969 s which means it was minted in san francisco and it's an artificial surgery card proof coin uncirculated proof so very nice Harvey Killebrew, let's take a look at his his uh, achievements in baseball. <clears throat> He's a Hall of Famer. Nickname the Killer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hammer and Harmon. <laughs> uh, 22 year career in Major League Baseball, primarily with the Twins. He was a Twins guy. At the time he retired, he had the fourth most home runs in baseball history. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Second only to Babe Ruth in the American League. Hall of Fame induction in 1984. Yeah, so I mean, he's, he's quite the legend. 40 home runs in a season. Eight times eclipsed that. That's, that's epic for someone of that era. Really neat career, really neat person to have their, their cut signature. Really good stuff coming out of there in the 1969 break.